hello everyone in today's video the topic that i'm going to discuss is the changing notion of time and space before discussing the present scenario of changing notion of time and space first we will discuss about its historical background point number one the sociology of space is a sub discipline of sociology that mostly borrows from theories developed within the discipline of geography second point the sociology of space examines the social and material constitutions of spaces it is concerned with understanding the social practices institutional forces and material complexity of how human and space interact so basically all these three points are trying to tell us that sociology of space is derived from geography whatever theory we get to know in sociology of space is actually related to the geography then the second point it explains how the social and material constitutions of spaces are examined in other words when people are settled or they are living in a far distant places what are the social conditions or material conditions with which they are interacting to one another and the third point it states that it is concerned with social practices and institutional forces quite very much related to the second point where it's stating that when social and material constitutions of the spaces are examined in sociology it also tries to understand and examine what are the parts what are the social practices or institutional forces that are acting as an agent or as a way through between humans and spaces in other words humans are using different social institutions or material institutions through which they can interact to a far distance person okay and in between there is a space before understanding the notion of time and space let us first understand the concept of duality of space martina lo developed the idea of a relational model of space which focus on the ordering of living entities and social goods and examines how space is constituted in processes of perception recall or ideation to manifest itself as societal structure from a social theory point of view it follows the theory of structuration proposed by anthony giddens whose concept of duality of structure low extends sociological term into a duality of space in simple terms all we can say that martina low she used this term duality of space to explain how people are trying to communicate people try to interact in their daily life using some societal agents this duality space is a physical term as well as it has a social perspective also in concrete science like physics biology or chemistry we can study space in different context but it also has a societal context also and when in sociology we try to understand the space we should have a perception based on the social structure not based on some concrete signs as well as it is also stated that martina lo developed her theory of duality of space from anthony giddings theory of duality of structure now let's talk about the contribution of lefebvre and harvey the most important proponent of marx's spatial theory was henry lefebvre he proposed social space to be where the relation of production is reproduced 
in other terms lefebvre tried to explain the concept of social space using capitalist society and the concepts or the theories given by karl marx marx's partial theory was given decisive new impetus by david harvey who was interested in the effects of the transition from fordism to flexible accumulation of the experience of time and space in other words harvey tried to explain then when the entire society was becoming mechanized were becoming capitalist how the concept of the time and space got changed between its proletariat section by proletariat i mean the workers section when we are discussing about the concept of changing notion in time and space it would be incomplete without discussing the discourses of global and local gibson graham has identified six ways in which the relationship between the local and the global is often viewed point number 1 the global and the local are seen as interpretative frames for analysis situation in other terms the concept of global and local they are an interpretative frames to analyze a situation means if something is happening in a society some people will try to analyze based on their local assumptions and while other people they will try to analyze that same phenomena based on their global assumptions for example the traditional food like dosa idli of south india is a local food chain so when the local is try to interpret this items this food items they try to interpret in their local assumptions and local perspectives whereas when the same idli and dosas are being served in foreign countries so there is a concept known as mcdonaldization which means when you are globalizing a local food chain all over the world so in that context in the context of globalization or global when we are try to analyze that same local food items it becomes globalized or mcdonaldized next drawing on drillick gibson graham suggested that in such a representation the global is something more than the national or regional anything other than the local meaning that the global and the local each derive meaning from what they are not a very contradictory and quite a complex definition given by gibson and graham that when we try to give a tag of global or local to a product it is not originally the identity of that same product perhaps it is our perception it is our interpretation that has been given to the product so in other words a product is never originally a local or never originally global in the third point according to french social theorist bruno latter the local and the global offer different points of view on networks that are by nature neither local or global but more or less long and more or less connected also in latter's view it is impossible to distinguish where the local ends and the global begins at the same point referred in the second point latter is saying the same thing it means no product is originally begins with global or local there is no such thing as global or local for a product it is actually the interpretation of a person to what he or she is giving to the product if a person thinks that this is a product of a local market or local region that automatically that product gets the identification of a local product and if someone tries to interpret a product as branded or global automatically the designation or the tag that the product is getting becomes global 
point number four the concept of global is local was proposed by gibson and graham as you can see in the picture also that the concept of global is local was given by these two theorists gibson and graham for instance the multinational firms are actually multi-local rather than global and they came up with a new concept or term known as multi-local according to them we should not try to interpret or give the tag of global or local to any product rather if we try to establish an identity for a product or a relationship then it should be multi-local rather than global the local is global in this view the local is an entry point to the world of global flows which encircles the planet it means that when a product or a phenomena or a social structure has been tagged as local it is actually standing on the entry point of the global market point number six the global and the local are actually the processes rather than locations it means when we are using these two terms global and local they are not locations they are actually process all spaces are the hybrid of global and local so they are global because all the places all the products all the social relationships that exist in today's modern united world is actually a hybrid of local market and global market that's why we do not call it as global local we call it as a new term used global now let's have a revise through this practice set question number one who proposed the theory of duality of structure the answer of this question is option b anthony giddings question number two the concept of global is local proposed by as we have recalled this and i have taught you this before that it was both graham and gibson so in this question the option will be option c question number three sociology of space is developed from here the correct answer is option a geography that's all in today's video thank you for watching it